Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will talk about the palmar spaces. We will talk about the synovial sheets covering the long flexor tendons. We'll talk about the uh, flexor sheets, the digital um, synovial sheets. And we will also talk about tenosynovitis, which is an inflammation of the tendons and the synovial sheets covering them. But before we actually get into the detail of all of that, uh, let's review what we've done up till now. So we talked about uh, the flexor retinaculum. It is a fibrous band which stretches across the carpal bones here. And uh, this converts the concavity of the carpus into a tunnel known as the carpal tunnel. Now underneath that, pass various long tendons, the uh, flexor tendons within their own synovial sheaths and the various structures which we discussed in the past lecture uh, that pass uh, deep to the flexor retinaculum include the tendons of the flexor digitorum superficialis, the tendons of the flexor digitorum profundus um, as well as the tendon of the um, flexor pollicis longus and uh, the uh, superficialis and profundus tendons, they share a common synovial sheath, right? And this synovial sheath is also known as the ulnar bursa. Now, the uh, flexor uh, pollicis longus, the tendon for the flexor pollicis longus, is covered in its own synovial separate sheath. And this is also known as the uh, radial bursa. Now, these structures pass deep to the flexor retinaculum. Some structures pass, uh, along with that, you also have the median nerve. This is the median nerve, which passes deep to the flexor retinaculum and then enters the hand. And um, the, we talked about the carpal tunnel syndrome, and which is the compression of uh, all of these structures. But the major signs and symptoms uh, which appear in the carpal tunnel syndrome are because of the compression of this median nerve. Right. After that, uh, we also talked about the palmar epineurosis. Uh, 